E U I C O I N. Hey, Rock and Roll Friday. If I could transport myself, I'd be to Memphis, Tennessee tonight. I like to go to Memphis, Tennessee about 2 in the morning and listen to some blues music. But of course, I live in San Francisco, the land of complete and total totalitarianism in the media, along the lines of their boss man in the White House. Boss man Obama just put up screens to block the communist dictator's view of protesters during his visit to the United States of America. Your evil president, who knows no bounds in terms of his bad taste and his evil doing, had screens erected in front of the White House so the dictator of China would not have to see protesters outside the White House who were talking about his disastrous policies of how he's treating, mistreating the Christians in China, how President Xi Ro is mistreating Christians in China, how President Xi Ro is mistreating the handicapped in China, how human rights have no meaning in China. Your president, your president, your president had the, the gall, the audacity. You call him a liberal? Do you think Obama's a liberal? He puts up screens so that President Zero would not have to see American protesters right now. I'll bet you approve of that. You're born to work in Nancy Pelosi's office. Another fine product of the American left. Well, you got children in a factory in China putting phones together at 17 cents an hour. 17 cents an hour. Why don't you tell that to Microsoft? Tell that to Mark Zuckerberg. Tell that to all of the others who are tripping over themselves to talk to the dictator. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Oh, it's very my. sad. Another one for all the guys whose wives just ditched them and they got screwed by the courts. Welcome to The Savage Nation. They're stuck with child support payments, alimony, and they're going to put it a thousand miles away. A curse, a nightmare, that's all they remember. A knife in the heart. So all of these songs, I'm sorry, you look back on them. Welcome to the program. It's uh, Rock and Roll Friday. And even the rock and roll is depressing me today, getting me anguished, not depressing. Anguished, anguished. I can't take it. The sanctimonious pope, the sanctimonious religious figures up on the stage with them, going to the ground uh, zero, zero uh, memory of the, 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 the first responders, and, and they say, those who blew up the World Trade Center and they did it in the name of God, said the liberal rabbi. I almost broke the television set. The coffee cup almost went through the screen. They didn't do it in the name of God. They did it in the name of Allah. That's what they screamed as they slammed the plane into the tower. But what do you expect, I say to myself? You know, the problem is this. Am I shocked by anything a reformed Jewish rabbi would say? Am I shocked by what a, a leftist pope would say? Well, I am a little shocked. I am a little shocked. I knew there was a left-wing wing within the Vatican, and I knew it was quite strong. I didn't know that it would elect the Pope, nor did I ever think that John Boehner would lobby to have this, this radical leftist come to speak before joint session of Congress, ever. Never. Not one word about the mutilation of baby body parts, other than in a very obscure terms. Everything was in obscure terms. He talks about peace on earth. Hey, we're all for peace on earth. How about talking about the churches that are burning in the Middle East? How about talking about the little Christian girls who are being raped around the clock, Mr. Pope, by your Muslim brethren who you're reaching across the aisle now to? How about saying something about that one word of reality? All of these homilies, they don't just don't do it for me. And as far as the, the, the lack of science and what he talks about with Gaia and global warming, nothing that he says is true. Nothing that he says is founded in science. Then he says we should be kind to immigrants and take more in. We take in more immigrants than all the nations on earth put together. Do you know that? Why doesn't he go to China and tell them to take in some immigrants, especially non-Chinese immigrants? Why doesn't he go give a speech in Japan? There are many Catholics in Japan, 
and tell them to be kinder and to bring in the non-Japanese and make them citizens and give them welfare and give them phones and give them cars and give them food and give them legal services. See how the Japanese would receive that. Only this nation of, of, of jerks puts up with this garbage. That's what's agitating today. That's what's ag agitating today. And then on top of it all, the hypocrisy of this, of this church. The church is sitting on the greatest gold reserve in the world. The church is sitting on the greatest art in the world. And um, it has the largest, thickest walls around any city on earth. They're telling us to tear down the wall with Mexico that Trump wants to build. You don't see this as hypocrisy? I can't help you. I, I can't help you if you can't see the hypocrisy. And the uh, fact of the matter, I'm calling for immigration leniency. What in the world is he, th is he thinking? What is he thinking? We took in 1.7 million legal immigrants last year. That's more people every year legally than the rest of the world combined. Now add, what, a million that came in illegally? The country's breaking from it. They, don't, they do not all come here to work. They do not come, come here to work. They come here to work the system. And it's a shame that we have to listen to this coming out of a religious figure. He should know better. All of this is an attack and assault upon uh, the middle class. That's what it really comes down to. Let me take some calls. WBOB in Jacksonville. Michael, you're up on the Savage Nation. Make your point, please. Mike, you're losing me because uh, I, I think your mockery of His Holiness uh, takes away from the validity of your argument. Um, and you're selectively quoting him in his message. Those things that you just mentioned just, just a couple of minutes ago about why is he not addressing these issues, he certainly has. If you look at the whole body of his message, he is, in fact, doing that. He is. Wait, wait, when did he, me when did he, excuse me, did I miss his mentioning of Planned Parenthood? He did not mention Planned Parenthood specifically, but he did talk about the sanctity of life in his address. Oh, that's very good. Okay, I'm, sh I'm sure that the girls in Planned Parenthood who sell baby body parts are ashamed right now and they're going to stop doing so. So your point is well taken. Uh, how about him calling for us to be more friendly to those who are migrating north for a better life? You agree we should take in more? Again, he's, he's, he is uh, speaking directly from the Christian message. He's... Uh, Embod he's the embodiment of the Beatitudes, or, or, or calling for us to practice the Beatitudes. Well, that's and very benevolent of him. Who's going to pay for it, though? We're all called as individuals to respond to that calling. We are. I'm paying through the nose. My taxes are over 65% state, local, and federal. What does he want me to do, pay 100% of my taxes? I understand that, and that, where, and that might be where he is a little bit uh, uninformed that... Uh, we do have procedures, we do have laws for admitting uh, immigrants, and I'm, I'm not at all for illegal immigration. But he does speak to the issue that uh, we are to welcome the alien in our country if they follow the laws. In, in, in well, that's all well and good. How many more shall we welcome? Another few billion? How many, how, many more should we, how many more should we take in? Everyone that Mexico wants to th get rid of because they're not supporting themselves, we should take them all in? Every Mexican that the government of Mexico is throwing out because they're either deadbeats or they're not wanted in the country, we should take them in? Well, I agree with you on that. But I'm just saying that... So what is it that you disagree with? You don't like that I'm criticizing the Pope because you look up to the Pope and I can understand that. But you have to understand his message is quite caustic to our value system. You're more than criticizing. You're mocking someone. Uh, in well, so what? What? What is it? Wait, excuse me. Is he above mockery? Um, I think you're being very disrespectful, and it denigrates. I am being disrespectful, just as I am to, to Barack Obama, who disrespected the office of the presidency and disrespects the Constitution. The last thing we have left is mockery. There's nothing else that will reach these sanctimonious phonies. The, the Pope is the vicar of Christ on earth, and you should afford him a lot more respect than what you're... you're Wait a minute, excuse me. Ma maybe I'm ignorant. Didn't he start out as a bouncer in Argentina? Now, you, that's, that's, that's just scurrilous information. M wait, excuse me. He himself gave it in a speech. It's not scurrilous. You're, you're an ignoramus if you don't know that. Read his own speech. I can quote it to you. 
He said that he started as a bouncer in Argentina. Do you know that? Well, if he started as a bouncer, what does that have to do with where he is right now? Well, how did he become the vicar of Christ if he was started as a bouncer? I don't, I don't follow that. Help me in my ignorance. He underwent a conversion early in his uh, young adult life. So you mean after he was a bouncer, he, he was converted to become a vicar, a vicar of Christ? He was elected to be the vicar of Christ as the Pope. Right, wait a minute. Well, hold it. So wait a minute. Something's wrong here. You can be elected to be a vicar of Christ, so what does that make you? A man who was elected to something. It doesn't mean you have any divine soul, something better than I do. Responded to a calling as a young man to become a priest. I remember that much from his biography. I, well, read, read more. In fact, if, I'll tell you what. If you Google, was the Pope a bouncer, you'll get five immediate answers. And maybe your view of the Pope is not open-minded enough when you think about it, Michael. What does that have to do with his being the Pope now? The fact that he was because his message his message is that of, of Karl Marx. Do you uh, know that the Catholic Church runs America's welfare state? Do you know that? H how much of the federal money, meaning your money, do you think the Catholic Charities gets every year? The Catholic Church accepts uh, money for uh, social welfare programs. They they run the soup kitchens. They run. Uh, Adoption facilities, they, they run uh, homes for unwed mothers, they do a number of... of really? And how much of the, how much of the 1.6 billion dollars that the Catholic Church receives from the federal government goes towards bringing in illegal aliens, housing them, clothing them, feeding them, and moving them around? How much of that 1.6 billion is spent on bringing in non-citizens? I don't have a dollar figure on that. Well, I'm sorry to tell you it's quite high. <laughs> Refugee services is the new cash cow, not only for Catholic charities, but for Lutheran charities, Baptist Family Services, uh, the Jewish charities. They're all in on the grab. There's huge fortunes being made in this. And it's all because of the money that the churches have been co-opted. So from a political point of view, Michael, I'm afraid... You have to learn a little bit more before you can accuse me of not being open-minded enough about this Pope's message. And I would, I would conclude, because I don't want to get you any angrier than you already are, and I hope you don't leave the show angry. I hope you continue to listen to me, because I understood that this would step on the toes of some devout Catholics who otherwise like me. I'm going to send you a free copy of Government Zero. I have an entire 8,000-word chapter on the Pope's history, where he comes from, and the falsehood of his messages. If you'd read it, you may decide that you are the one who's not open-minded enough. Thank you for calling. Here's another one out of Jacksonville who doesn't agree with me on the Pope. We better have some rock and roll before I take that one. Uh, instead of we do no Johnny and Joe, I need some serious rock and roll right now because uh, I have so much more that needs to be talked about on the program. I don't like that one. I don't like his voice. Click, break the record. Let's see... Uh, I'm looking through my list. There's hundreds and hundreds of records here. How about a corn dance of the Zuni Pueblo singers? Yeah, that would work today because it was a multi-religious ceremony today. And I didn't see any Indians up there. I saw Hindus. I saw Buddhists. I saw, uh, I saw a, a rabbi. I saw uh, a Roman Orthodox, uh, Russian Orthodox. And um, a Muslim was up there. Everyone was up there, the 9-11 memorial. But I didn't see any Indians uh, from the Zuni Pueblo tribe doing a corn dance of 1967. Or you can get a traditional Blackfoot shit. It's enough to make you take peyote listening to these guys. I tell you the truth. You watch these, these phonies, these sanctimonies, these sanctimonious individuals today. And by the way, sanctimony rhymes with phony and baloney. You watch the phony baloney going on today. The sanctimony was overwhelming. Yeah, it's one thing to know what goes on behind closed doors in churches and synagogues and Buddhist temples around the world. But then when they march it in front of us, a secular nation like this, what, what do we suddenly become a religious nation? When did this nation suddenly become a giant church, an open-air ch church for the Catholics? When do we become an open-air church for the Pope? The whole nation suddenly has turned into a church for this guy. It's sickening. Now, if his message was traditionally Catholic, which was anti-communist, you wouldn't hear me railing against him. I'd say, all right, it's for the betterment of our country and the world. He's standing up to the dark forces of evil. But he isn't. He's standing for the exact opposite of everything his country stands for. The opposite of it. He doesn't stand for the rule of law. He said, break down your barriers to illegal aliens. Bring them all in. Didn't he? 
Then he goes on with the false.